My name is Valerie Delali Achodapo, a PhD candidate of the University of Cape Coast in my second year. I'll be entering my third year in the coming academic year. I'm presently at the WARA office as a grantee of WARA and a WARA fellow presently at Harvard University. I'm very glad for the opportunity WARA has given me my early career because it's quite difficult to get such an opportunity especially with an Ivy League school. There are even um, lecturers or professors already teaching who do not have such an opportunity and so I'm very glad for the opportunity and I know this is going to open greater, greater doors and other opportunities in my career as a, a lecturer later on. I'm actually working on corn child labor in cocoa production in the Gold Coast after abolition that is from 1874 to 1940. The main argument of the work is that ch corn children have been involved in cocoa production for many years, especially when the main source of labor, which was slavery, was abolished, and particularly when former slaveholders wanted compensation, although the legislation had been passed that slaves should be freed, but they still wanted the ex slaves to provide children as. A substitute. So as a result, you either provided a child or paid some money. Here's the case that most um, of them couldn't actually pay for it. So they only resorted to um, giving up children um, to compensate their former slave holders. And most of these children um, as they were pawned, were sent to many other villages, especially to farming and fishing communities, as my research has, has shown. That is particularly with archival research, as well as some interviews which I have done, for instance, at um, Gomua or Faso, which is quite close to the Winniba fort, because my archival evidence showed that most of the children came through that um, from that area and that area is a fancy area which is which usually served as a link between those on the coast or the Europeans on the coast as well as those in the interior and so and this has also been an area where um, cocoa has been cultivated for more than a century and so I did some of my interviews in Gomwa Faso where I found out that as early as five years, you find children working on farms, children handling cutlasses to break pots of cocoa. You would find children carrying very heavy loads of cocoa, which is also evident in the archival materials that I have looked at, where children carried over six, seven, between six to seven pounds or kilos of um, cocoa for a very over 45 kilometers from the farming area to the coast where it was actually exported and um, with the kind of work that the children were involved in and the evidence provided you realize that most of them were rather pawn children rather than the um, children of the farmers and then secondly so you would also find that most of these children um, were not actually from the same area because the archival material showed that they were either Wangara children who were mostly the Wangara people can actually be found in the northern parts of Ghana. Thank you very much.